And now we'll do a meditation on meeting our inner child and also our divine self. So please close your eyes and then focus on your nostril and simply be present with your in-breath and your out-breath, just this much. Being mindful of your inhalation and your exhalation. Connect with your breath, bond with it. A few more moments, allowing the breath to make us feel more calm, more tranquil, relaxed, only because we allow it. And now letting go of this, eyes still closed, please bring your attention to rest on your physical heart, our beloved, loving, magical organ, the heart. Be conscious of your heart. And then as I count numbers through the heart, at the count of one, ushering into your sacred sanctuary, a place of absolute safety, astonishing beauty, and so much love, healing. And remember, it's a place of magic, of infinite possibilities. You can do whatever it is you want, summon anybody. Okay, focusing on the heart. Getting closer and closer to your sacred sanctuary. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Please find yourself ushered into your sacred sanctuary. Remember, it's a place of absolute safety. Please look around you, sense, get a, a knowing, a feeling, an awareness. There is so much beauty here. It is so majestic, picturesque, enchanting, beautiful. And our souls love beauty. Please be there. And again, remind yourself, remember, in this place, there is no judgment, no judgment, only compassion, mercy, love, healing. Go and touch something and feel its texture. Remember, whatever you do here is perfect. And now, in this safe, beautiful, loving, magical sanctuary, become very, very still. Very still, still. And then listen, listen deeply, because your name, your name is being called. Please listen, your name is being called. And you look up and you see this beautiful being, this child, that is you calling out your name. 
and that divine child coming closer and closer to you. And please go up to the child, touch the child, hold the child, embrace the child. Please know your touch, your holding, your embracing of this divine child that is you is so healing, loving, empowering. Just be with that, please, for a few moments. And now you being reminded, you being told lovingly by invisible energies here that within you, within you is the perfect parent, perfect teacher, mentor, healer. You know exactly what needs to be said to this beautiful divine child that is you. to make this divine child feel loved, healed. This divine child can do anything. Thing deserves to be happy, content, fulfilled. So knowing what needs to be said from the depths of your being, from the wellspring of your being that perfect parent, teacher, healer, Mentor, please, besides the touch now, speak, talk, articulate to this child what this child needs to hear. Your divine child soul is really listening. Whatever you say is perfect. your touch, and now your words, the vibrations of your words are unimaginably healing, loving, empowering, transforming. To get You're both being asked, both of you being asked by these sacred, invisible energies here to again become very, very still. Calm within. Very still. And you're being asked to look up now. As you look up in the distance, you see this beautiful, radiant being filled with light, sacred light, filled with joy. And both of you realize this is a divine being radiating so much joy, love, beauty, light. And to your amazement and delight, this divine being is approaching you and coming closer and closer to you and your beautiful divine child. And within you, you can feel the quivering 
of delight. As this radiant, cosmic, divine being comes even closer and touches you, embraces you, imaginable quiver in being also embraces and holds and blesses, blesses this divine child. And this divine being in the process, in the ritual of blessing, says a few words to this divine child which makes a divine child glow with joy, empowerment, healing. And now you ask this divine being, who are you? Who are you? And to your astonishment, this divine being says, this divine being tells you, I am you. I am you. And with that proceeds to, in a manner of speaking, embrace you, hold you. And you can feel that touch. The beauty, the majesty, the magic the sacredness of this touch and magically the divine being merges and melts and goes deep inside of you, filling up a void, making you realize that within you resides your higher self, your divine spark. And now, this divine child holds out its arms. If you need to, you can kneel, but comes and hugs you, holds you. And once again, you can feel, taste, experience that touch of this divine child's body on yours, the sweetness of it, the joy of it. And as you hug deeply, lovingly, again, something magical happens. This beautiful divine child merges and melts and goes deep inside of you, filling up a void. And you realize this divine child is so safe, so loved, so healed inside of you, where also resides your divine spark, your higher self. Simply be with that togetherness. The knowing of this union. Of beauty, of love, of togetherness. Feeling with every single moment, more and more healed, empowered, fulfilled. more and more complete for a few moments with gratitude in your heart. Be present in this magical, sacred, safe, loving
mass, invisible energies which infuse your sacred sanctuary. Simply be open to receiving their blessings. As I count numbers, ever so gently coming into awareness. Number one, slowly, easily, gently coming into awareness. Number two, feeling a deep inner joy and delight. Knowing that your divine inner child is so safe, so loved, so healed. Becoming aware that within you is your divine spark, your higher self, your Christ light, Buddha nature, Allah's breath, Krishna's delight, Elohim's mystery and beauty. It's within you. Number two, feeling very, very grateful. Number three, this togetherness, this completeness, this knowingness goes deeper and deeper and deeper inside you with every passing moment, every single breath, feeling more and more integrated and evolved into the fullness of your being, of who you really are. And number four, becoming aware that you are the beloved of the beloved. All is perfectly well, no matter how it seems. And number five, opening your eyes as I do this Bismillah chant. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. La ilaha illa.